Hey everyone, welcome back to another technique talk. Today we're gonna be setting up our left hand. To start, what we're gonna do is I want either you or a parent to grab a pen and draw an X on the bottom joint of your index finger on your left hand. So what we're gonna do, put our violin up once you have your X, we're gonna shake out our hand in whatever natural shape our hand makes when it's hanging is exactly what we're gonna put up resting on the violin. So if you can see, my X right here is resting on the neck of the violin and my thumb is gonna be pretty much parallel to this X and just being really loose, grabbing the neck. And while we're up here with our thumb and our X in place, we can tap our thumb a few times and we can tap our X a few times. And still keeping that relaxed hand shape Look at my fingers, they're nice and loose and they're hovering over the fingerboard. We're not touching, just wanna do a few taps with the thumb, tap, 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 and a few taps with the pointer finger, tap, tap, tap. Now that we have our thumb and our pointer finger set, I wanna talk about a wrist. A lot of the times we see closed wrists, but what I want you to do is open your wrist, keep it nice and loose, it's pretty straight in line with your forearm. As you can see, your back of the hand is pretty upright, but your wrist should still be able to move. So if you could do this yourself or have a parent, just make sure that your wrist is super flexible. You can try to wiggle it a few times with your right hand. And look at my posture of my left hand. It's very upright. My fingers are still curved and hovering over the fingerboard. Now that our fingers are in place, our wrist and our arm are all very loose. The back of our hand is upright, not closed, it's up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice tapping our fingers on the fingerboard. You just do it on the A string, on the first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Or we can do all fingers together, just tap them down. Just wanna maintain this looseness and freedom in our arm, but also this hovering hand shape. Try it on the D string and watch I move my elbow just a tap, just a little bit. Now the G string, tap, 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 move over on the E string, tap all your fingers. So this should just help keep your hands framed together. I hope this video helps. It was short but sweet. Thanks guys.